Welcome everyone to the reality after show. Johnny Fairplay is in the house. What? Finally. <laughs> what is, is this? It? Are we talking traitors? Uh, it's the reality after show with Johnny Fairplay, and I'm with Dan and Alex as normal. But Johnny, uh, last week you were at Bryson Wendell's premiere party in New York. It looked bananas. I mean, <laughs> well, Johnny Bananas was not there. So I and, and this is not a traitors podcast. <clears throat> and it's not it's not an Australian Survivor podcast. My notes reflect very differently uh, <laughs> based on the gameplay. Um, uh, yeah, no. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Bryson Wendell's event last week. Uh, do, do the kids still say off the chain? Sure. Uh, sure. Right. It was off the chain. It was it was so cool. I mean, we we did a little uh, pre party thing for for the, uh, the 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 castaways and 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 some some other uh, celebrities in the house. And uh, Dalton Ross was there, and then Pinner mm -hmm. showed up. And you know, to have you know one half of the the, the favorites tribe from uh, from Micronesia, as Matt will tell you, the the favorites tribe in, in any fans versus favorites uh, season is the only tribe that counts. And to have the four all stars of that tribe together at one time, myself, Sari, Eliza, and Jonathan Penner, was quite a special moment. And then then on to the to the big shebang, and there's the Squid Game guys there, and Bryce and Wynn, and the DJ, and and, and nonstop champagne, and Beebles the rappers there, and. I mean, it was it was awesome. I mean, like I it, it was very different than than the way that I do my party. My you know my parties are you know more you know we do trivia during the commercials and it's a much more intimate thing. But as far as a party is concerned, this is one of the coolest parties I've ever been to. And just tons of Survivor fans. I mean, oh god, yeah. There's I think it was over 400 people. Like very few cities, I would think, could there be a viewing party with that many enthusiastic fans oh they're literally doing the finale there because it was i mean it was that great and people i mean and and everyone there they're like are you gonna be back for the finale i'm like no i'm gonna be at dave matthews in tampa <laughs> 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 like, i am doing seven weeks with king george my reward to myself is front row for dave matthews in tampa first night of the of the new tour so that's where i will be may 22nd but if you guys don't mind, uh, I'm going to be a few other places. <sighs> Tickets on sale now uh, at SurvivorTix.com. Come see me and, oh, I'm not alone. Boom. Jax's studio. That's right. Jax's bar in Los Angeles. Here we are. Wednesday, Ma March 27th. It's only a couple weeks away. March 27th at Jax's Studio City uh, in Los Angeles. Also, Studio City, California. It, they're all the same thing, folks. It's uh, myself, King George, everyone's favorite Australian royalty survivor. He will be co-hosting with me, and we have a ton of guests. We have Lauren Ashley Beck. We have Abby Maria. We have Sugar from Survivor. We also have Jag from Big Brother. He's going to be there. We have James Watlington from The Amazing Race and The Challenge USA. We have Jax from Vanderpump Rules is going to be there. We have surprise guests we're not allowed to say. <laughs> it is going to hear you. Uh, what? I, I, what? I didn't say Bless anything. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I, uh, it's allergies, springtime. You know, that's where they get me. Uh, VIP will sell out. Uh, you get uh, you get meet and, uh, the, the meet and greet package. You get preferred seating, the autograph poster. It's going to be nuts. Uh, they're also doing a deal. Uh, uh, VIP tables would be available, and I'll, I'll have the information up tomorrow on that. Hit them up to get a VIP table. That is, like, literally the best seat in the house. And free course Light. Not sure if I'm allowed to say that, but it's happening. So, so yeah, get yourself a hey, Matt. Bischoff, yeah, Matt already has saying. it. Yes, uh, I, I'm going to need that back for uh, March 27th. We okay. we don't we we have. 12. That was just show beer. That wasn't actually meant to be drank. Yeah, we, we, we have 12 to pass around. It's, really, it's, it's, it's like Jeff on a on a reward challenge. Just like, hey, here's a beer. You guys remember a beer, and every, you know everyone passes it down. Yes. And then if you're Johnny Fairplay and you're second, you drink three quarters of it. Anyway, memories. Uh, anyway, so uh, come join me, uh, SurvivorTix.com. King George is flying in straight from Australia for this. It's going to be nuts. But that's not all, folks. The King George Johnny Fairplay tour continues. Oh, where are we next? Oh, we are 
we're going to be in Durham, North Carolina. That's right. Johnny Fairplay, King George, and Jesse Lopez will be at Clouds Brewing in Durham, North Carolina, Wednesday, April 3rd. And uh, a couple surprise guests that I've, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm, should I say any of these? Yeah, why not? Okay, fine. Uh, surprise guest, tentative, tentative surprise guest, card mm -hmm. subject to change. Zane Knight. <laughs> don't I, 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 I would bet right now Zane Knight is not showing up. Oh, he is. <laughs> I, I got you'll like, sign anything. Oh, uh, he will sign anything. Oh, he is beyond excited. He is ready to prove he is back. Uh, uh, oh, I got about 15 messages from him today. He will uh, definitely be there. He was he actually wanted to come here tonight to watch Survivor with me and do the podcast. Uh, like, no, no, I've no. been at I've been at four of the Durham shows where I think Zane was supposed to be at. I think he's he not gonna watch. be there. He, I think he showed up once. He will. He will. Uh, Nina, one of my favorite Australian survivors ever. Uh, Sandra Diaz Twine's daughter. Oh, and uh, Sandra Diaz Twine because they're picking up King George. <laughs> so, so, uh, so yeah. So we uh, uh, or no is is are they picking him up there? Or are they picking him up the next one? Uh, I can't remember. So anyway, I think I think Nina and Sandra are coming to that one. So uh, once again, uh, Clouds Brewing, Durham, North Carolina. That's Wednesday, April 3rd. Go to SurvivorTix.com. That's SurvivorTix.com. And I got one more that I can officially announce, and then I'll give you one more that I'm not allowed to announce. But I'll go. I don't care. This is fun. I mean, like, pull back the curtain. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina, Wednesday, May 1st, Protagonist Beer. That's right, Protagonist Beer, Loso in Charlotte. Me and King George survivor expert dan Monch will be there and if you'd like to if you'd like to wear a dan Monchel shirt it is now available at fairplayshirts.com you too can get your survivor expert shirt you know dan i'm getting one of those as well i figured you would you know it's only I? it's only johnny fairplay that could give you a nickname and then two weeks later weaponize it against you so i appreciate <laughs> that yes it's uh you asked if you should be proud or uh, what was it proud or something uh Triggered. triggered what well, no, triggered was my reply <laughs> attacked i think proud Atta attacked. yeah proud or attacked and i said triggered proud proud and triggered should be your response so but yeah protagonist beer on uh wednesday may 1st and uh tickets are going on sale for this one um uh, as soon as tomorrow i'm putting everything together uh april 10th in chicago so i know bryce and Wynn are doing uh april 24th in chicago and you, you guys should go to that that's going to be great. It's going to be a big party. However, uh, Chicago, April 10th, I'm doing the most exclusive Survivor viewing party in the history of su Survivor viewing parties. I'm going to be in a penthouse studio party room uh, with it, it's uh, 30 people total. That's it. And uh, we're watching Survivor. You have myself. You have King George. You're going to have other survivors there. Uh, Xander's going to be a bunch of others. Uh, not allowed to say everyone there. $100 tickets. That's right. I'm crazy. $100 to walk in. Here's what you get. A King George Johnny Fairplay Chicago flag t-shirt. Free Solid. beer. Free Solid. wine. Solid. Free food. There you go. Autograph pictures. Hell yeah. We're limited price. to 30 of the first fans that sign up. And that's it. We're done. Yeah, I, I think that's a killer idea because it's going to be intimate where if people that are huge fans can really get uh, a feel of what it's like just to like hang out. You and know there's the mean? hot tub. Yeah, I mean, you, you can literally, I, I am bringing my Speedo. King George is bringing his Speedo. There is a hot tub. Uh, well, there, I mean, that's one way to like scare off your uh, 30 I don't VIP care. people. I don't, uh, <laughs> Jessica will be bringing her bikini. Well, there you go. I just increased ticket sales. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's all a balance. <laughs> it's, it, it is. It, it's, it's a huge balancing act. So that's going to be uh, tickets will go on sale in the next few days for that. That's April 10th in Chicago. Tickets available for everything at SurvivorTix.com. That's SurvivorTix.com. So get your tickets. If you'd like to come to any of these, get your tickets for those now. And, uh, and just click the follow button or whatever there is on there on that Eventbrite page, and it'll alert you when, when the next tickets go on sale. So, But uh, uh, the, this is crazy. So uh, uh, coming up, uh, uh, we're going to do April 17th in Cincinnati, April 24th in Charlottesville, and uh, still figuring out May 15th. And that, that's it. I'm done. 
So I is this cannot... the last hurrah fair play? Is forty season forty six the last tour? I don't. Two thousand twenty four is the last tour. So I don't know if we're going to work our way into forty seven or not. So, but uh, twenty twenty four. It it it's 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 a scheduling thing for me. So two thousand twenty four. What happens at twenty? Are you just over it, kind of just retiring from live events? Just those. Just I just have other things in life that that uh, that that uh, I, I. There will be there will be survivor viewing parties in a different capacity. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do something that's that's never been done. Uh, 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 and and I I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about what I'm doing in the future. But it's it's all about the facilities involved and everything. So now I I'm I'm actually gonna change the way survivor viewing parties are done in the future. And and I think it's happening as soon as season 47. Hmm. But uh, it's I, I'm just waiting on on everything to 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 be done before that happens. So, wow. but yeah, uh, so yeah, so no, I, I will continue to do parties, but they will not be, they will not be the way they're done now. So, and, and I, I will continue my Australia parties. I, I, I'm doing the premiere for next season of Australian uh, Survivor. In Australia. Yeah. So here, here, I just want to plug one thing. So for, for the people listening to this, that listen on, you know, wherever you listen to your podcast, whether it's YouTube or anywhere on the audio side, and Johnny is like, this is like news to Dan, Alex, and I, as far as like the you know, what is this future survivor party is going to look like in 2025 and beyond. So the way you get these secret inside behind the scenes stuff oh, yeah. is is if you become a patron, right? Realitypatron.com. Um, I say John, stuff I shouldn't. Yeah, we do a <laughs> lot of time. stuff. I <laughs> we do a lot of crazy stuff. We do a Q and A each and every week. Favorite podcast of the week, by the way, Monday nights, we, we do it here and it's unbelievable. And there's so much former content that we do. It's just a, a great community. So if you want to hear kind of like, what is next? Johnny might be spilling the tea that he doesn't do here on the Q and A's. Give, so give me a few edibles. I'll say anything. <laughs> yeah. So check it out. If you don't, if you don't like it, Johnny, you know, try it for a month and, and then cancel. But I, I, I guarantee you, Dan, Alex, many others involved in the whole reality after show community. Uh, I've met so many great people over the years and it's all because of, of this cool community that we have. So realitypatron.com, check it out. Thank you. But, and, uh, and, and links links to watch Australian Survivor if you would like to watch a master's class on how, how Survivor's played. But instead, we can talk about this, which, for the record, mm -hmm. I find this to be very enjoyable. I am liking this season. Th this episode, uh, we, 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 we mentioned before we went on the air, did not need yeah. to be two hours long. No, fuck uh, I don't. I don't think it was initially planned to be. <laughs> It was never planned to be. <laughs> uh, I, I I never want a commercial. I mean, I you guys know how much I love the challenges. <laughs> Dude. Uh, you don't you understand. I texted Dan <laughs> be right before it was about to. Like, it was clear a commercial break was coming. Yeah. I just sent a text over to Dan like, we're we're gonna hear it tonight. <laughs> we're oh, gonna yeah. hear oh, it. Yeah. It's yeah. the worst thing you can do. Yeah, I, not, I not think only it was I, six. I say I think it was six seconds later. It was either I think it was Wayne was the first one. It was like a commercial yeah. in between challenges. This yeah. is bullshit. Not, not yeah. only do I hate challenges, and I think they're worthless. I mean, literally, we can just draw straws, like you know, twice an episode, like it. one straw for reward, one straw to see who wins. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> I just don't. Uh, but to have a commercial during a challenge, I'm just like, wow. Like you're you're. The survivor gods are really, really testing me here. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just like, Johnny, are, are you enjoying this episode? I'm like, I am enjoying it. They're like, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, commercial break during the challenge. But uh, let, let's let's go back in time, folks. Uh, it begins with Banu praying. I, at this moment, I'm loving Banu. As we continue... Banu is not Nasir. No. No. <laughs> no, like your your initial impression is he's Nasir. And I I I always I made it clear in the premiere podcast. I was like, 
we didn't get a real chance to see Nasir because I've met Nasir and yeah. I know how Nasir's mind works. And amazing. Nasir would not have done what Banu has done in two episodes. No. No. <laughs> no. Nasir I told will you punch his... Banu. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I told everyone last week his eccentric personality of going over the top, it's going to really start to annoy some people. And I didn't think it was going to happen as early as episode two, but here we are. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I love was set up for a Banu boot this episode. I thought they were ready to just go like, yep, nope. <laughs> oh no, just we, 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 have, we have so much more of, of a Banu to enjoy before I know. he self I need, I need the mess. And that's why I love. I love that this is set up to be a, like a messier season. I'm, not yeah, I'm okay I, with not amazing gameplay. There's going to be some people that are going to be good at gameplay. Or... And we'll highlight it. <laughs> I'm here for the mess. I'm here for these people being personalities, getting in each other's faces, hating each other, yeah. and we're getting it. So super fans don't know how to play Survivor, is what we're learning. The, the, this new crop of super fans. That I, you, I think so. I agree with that. I you mean, know, I've it's the whole of... it's the whole book smart versus street smart thing. You you well, you can well... read and watch about what you're supposed to do, but once you have to go and apply it, sometimes people that you know that the lines don't connect. Well, if you're street smart, you know not to make the block hot. That's all I got to say. T-shirt coming. <laughs> oh, that I was going to say, that was not a T-shirt in the making. <laughs> Stop making the block hot. I'm like, girl, I have, your number one stan is here. We, we, we're we done. I take back everything I've said about anyone else on this season. Holy moly, what a read. <laughs> Stop making the block hot. But we'll get there. So, uh, Kenzie likes Banu, but he's not a good liar. Hot, hot take, Kenzie. <laughs> Almost as hot as the liability. I mean, Bonnie, you, you like you're just shooting yourself in the foot time and time again. This is what happened with Jelinski last episode. If he, if Jelinski would have just shut his mouth and not volunteered for shit, Jess would have got home first. Jelinski would still be in the game. Bonu, and, and they probably don't lose that second challenge. Because oh yeah, was, uh, you, during you, during you, the you commercial exactly. break, Jelinski tweeted. Uh, by the way, I have a seven foot wingspan. Yeah, he would have just like put the <laughs> box like, on his, on I, his I went, back. Look, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He would have found a reason to quit. <laughs> yeah. He may have. <laughs> it, it cut it, the block cut my shoulder. I'm out, Jeff. Yeah. I mean, what, what was the vibe like, Johnny, last week when when uh, J just Jelinski's kind oh, of oh <laughs> they, they love they cheered they cheered so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh great. my god like i so yeah i mean so for me personally like i i i watched right before this episode tonight uh because i literally saw yeah 12 seconds of the show i mean like oh, yeah. there's 400 people everyone's got their phone out they're just like hey can i and that's what i'm there for like you know i i'm you're gonna get your selfie so mm -hmm. i i'm i would i would like an ipa but you'll get your yeah. selfie. <laughs> I mean, tit for tat, you know, so, or Coors Light. If you're VI, if you get a, if you reserve a VIP table at Jax's free Coors Light, buckets of Coors Light. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so last week, Jelinski goes, Banu, if you just keep your mouth shut, you're not going to be putting a target on your back. You're a nice guy, but this crying. I got really tired of the crying like last season and the quitting. We see a lot of crying this episode. A lot of uh, but he's a liability. Well, I mean, carry. hey, it, listen, it's day four. Are they they got hooded sweatshirts. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. I got. <laughs> I, just, I literally. <laughs> Lily have you're you're falling apart on day four with hooded sweatshirts. I would have I would have cut off Matt Bischoff's beard in the middle of the night for a fucking hooded sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Matt but Matt Bischoff would have cut off my hair in the middle of the night for a hooded sweatshirt. Oh yeah. Yep. Game changer. Yeah. Th yeah. This is uh it's <laughs> hey, but Kenzie's eyes pop when she cries. And you know what my follow-up to that is? Sucks that she knows that. Who's making Kinsey cry? Which shitty boyfriends does Kinsey have in her life? Yeah. Yeah, her eyes get blue. Kinsey, pick new friends, better boyfriends. <laughs> I'm not volunteering for either. However, there's a guy down there on this uh, panel I'm right here. here in Charlotte. 
with he's he's he, he, you're his winner pick. He's All in. Right. He's local. You don't have to spend the night. <laughs> She's got a lot of tattoos. Dan 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 like to count them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's play the counting game. I In bet you details. have more. <laughs> Then we, after her crying blue eyes, we go to the Orange Tribe NAMI, where Tevin has a confessional where he talks about being close to uh, Hunter McKnight and Soda and that he does not trust Venus. And, you know, Venus like, look, I know what's going on. I'm getting a vibe from everybody that uh, I'm not kind of wanted around here. So she's no dummy. She pretty much knows she's screwed. Uh, and then she kind of like doesn't want to be seen as weak. She talks about being this like strong Persian woman. And this uh, episode tonight showed a lot of past like video footage backstories, which I've never. So is this like where like the Prince of Persia game came from? I don't know. <laughs> could, could be. Thank you. Thank you. Man. I mean, Johnny, do you think do you, think, do you like <laughs> Venus, Johnny Fairplay? <laughs> I, I I enjoy watching Venus look for an idol. Yeah, I think she's fun. Like I I I don't. I, yeah, I, I I cast Venus a hundred times. Yeah, I cast yeah. Banu a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And Venus reminds me of that like one of those model type chicks that has played Australian Survivor like a couple seasons ago that I watched. Yeah, but they would Too be nice soon. to her there. I don't understand yeah. these nerds that are just like, oh, you're the hot chick that gets everything. And it's just like, yeah, so let her get it here. Like, what? Like, yeah. well, that's, why I like, that's why I like later in the episode, we see at least one of those people change their minds. Because in yeah, because he's hot and he's just yeah. like, hey, why aren't you being nice to the hot girl? He's like, he goes, of everyone I could be, I, I could make an alliance with. And all of them are all together, except for this one person who is on the outs, who does does not benefit me whatsoever by working with her is like but she's hot mm -hmm. <laughs> like that that's the translation i got from that it, it was just like in my opinion based on what they've shown because we, we don't have a lot from them because the yeah. purple tribe has to get a lot of the shine because like, they're the ones we, going to tribal which makes and, sense and in, but in two hours we, we still can't get enough <laughs> we need 50 minutes at yanu beach you know, the you know, we have to see Jess try to find an idol aimlessly and then get handed it. Um but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but I it, it, I'm on we, that beach. The person you, you, that you just ruined the, the you just ruined the last 20 minutes of the podcast. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm sorry, that was a that was a Banu moment. We'll see you next week. I apologize. Week. I am I am I'm training myself to be better. Oh you train yourself to stop talking and lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm working on this. Uh, Alex won't do it in the future. <laughs> Except right now, when better. I talk about the person that should be on everyone's mind to vote out is Liz. Hey, oh, okay. Oh. Hey, uh, Matt, 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 and Dan, can we go on private chat and and discuss if we feel that Alex can hold hold uh, his end of the bargain here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Alex? <clears throat> we just we just chatted. Yeah, we, we have you an immunity idol. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> we would like we would like for you to have for next week. <laughs> Okay, is it real though? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, it, it comes attached. It it has the uh, streamyard code for why? Uh, for why? To, why for you to why log is in. there? I, I'm surprised that it has one of your flyers for uh, a watch party at SurvivorTix.com. Is that what the idols look like this year? That, this year, yes. Yeah. So, oh, okay. well, the, it, look, they, they have to include the the food department, accounting, <laughs> budget cuts. Budget cuts. cuts. Oh, a, okay. This is this, this a seventeen dollar operation, Alex. Okay. Okay. No. So, that, that, yes. You know, honestly, it used to be a seven dollar operation. I, I can't believe they've improved so much. Yeah, and, and not only is this SurvivorTix.com a, a, a bracelet, it also has Sandra on it. <laughs> so oh it's, wow! It's very it's it's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> it's not from oh two... was it under the bench of the challenge <laughs> yes it was it was not from two seasons ago <laughs> shit 
Well, thank you. I'll play it next round. <laughs> wait, wait, so that it does have your login code for for uh, for the podcast next week. So oh, just, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> so just look on that immunity bracelet, and you should be a okay. <laughs> Right, we we go to we go to day four. That's the green tribe where Ben, you know, they, they seem to make fire. They're all excited about it. They, but honestly, oh, it was uh, Flint. They were able to make fire with Flint. It's not that big of a deal. They make they cry about making fire on day four. Yeah, I know. Day but, four. Yeah, and they have it's the no tools meeting to Nicholas make Cage, but it's pretty cool. Well, well <laughs> I I have a little uh, I have a little intel on that. Let's hear it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just going to keep it to myself. All right, fine. Or, or you could save it for uh, the Q and A and make people. Uh, oh yeah. No, I'm here. Go I want to hear the curtain curtain. now. You want? You want to hear? It? <laughs> yeah, Matt Bischoff, a question. And, and oh, a question from a uh... long time. Yeah. What, what's What's the deal with this <laughs> hey, fucking shit? Welcome aboard. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You know, do you know why he was more excited uh, about making fire on day four than meeting Nicolas Cage? Why? Because it act it wasn't actually Nicolas Cage. It was John Travolta. It was. <laughs> they, had, they had done the face-off thing. Oh, God. So. Oh, <laughs> it's an easy mistake a lot of people make. <laughs> yes. So if he had met Nicolas Cage with Nicolas Cage's face, sure, he would have been immensely more excited. But John Travolta with Nicolas Cage's face, that was good. Oh, but, yeah. Well, can, can we cry? Like, he's emotional. Okay, what, oh, Dan, Dan, has a, Dan has a John Travolta question. <laughs> or, no, sorry, I, I, Alex. Alex has a No, I, I, I just, like. <laughs> I'm going to be so real right now. See, <laughs> about see, John Travolta? See, no, about this tribe. Okay. They, they, we, we had, they had to force a two-hour episode. Yeah. And the most exciting thing that they could pull yeah. from this tribe... It was 107 to 106. Yes. yes so 108 to 106. It. <laughs> it was literally my favorite part of the episode. And I, and I thought, I, I, Matt, was that your favorite part? I, I, I'm going to be honest, the, the, the Ben stakes, like going into the uh, cast assessment, I was like, ah, Ben, not, not, he, he First guitar, guitar, like, like, on. What, what kind of guitar? Yeah, but honestly, like the fact that he <laughs> was like, like dropping his knowledge. Is, is, is the guitar in the room with you right now? <laughs> with me? No, it's not. But I, I, I tell you what, I loved watching this Metallica first Taylor Swift and then hearing some of the tribes say, I've never even heard of a Metallica song. I was impressed. I don't think I could name 106 or whatever Metallica song. I would have to, like like he did, start at Kill 'Em All and try to think of, like, you know, all the songs. I was just order. trying to think of an artist that I could contend with him with with uh, Taylor Swift. Like, I think I would have, uh, you know what? I don't know the names of any, like. But Sw Swifties are a different breed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that does that guy go to Harvard, Charlie? Yeah, secretly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he goes he's, to Harvard. You know, he, well, I will tell you guys something crazy. So, I, and this is all new to me, but I have my oldest son is a junior in high school. He got a thirty-four on his ACT, which is a very fucking high score. So the other day, he got like a right thing now. in the mail from Yale University saying we'd like you to apply for our college. And then yesterday, I opened my mailbox and it's a fucking it's a bunch of shit from Harvard for for Ryder. Yeah. Like a whole fucking brochure, and like, and I, and so I messaged a couple of my friends who's got kids in college, and they're like, "Uh, yeah, uh, not everyone gets Harvard and and Yale in, in their mailbox." Fucking, yeah, it's because his yeah. score is so fucking high that yeah. he's getting this shit. So, like, I said, yeah, I got, I got have any CPI and Devry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's crazy. It's just <laughs> Evan, University of Evansville, line. Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm just like, you got to keep that shit forever. He has no desire to go to those schools necessarily. He but should. I was like, dude, that's 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 fucking cool. Uh, but yeah, Harvard. I mean, this Charlie guy. I don't really mind Charlie. Um, I kind of like the Charlie's Angels Alliance. I do not. Uh, Charlie's oh, Angels is not, not beneficial to Charlie. That that yeah, but, no, they that one of those. It's just a clever name. Home. Nothing else. Yeah, but he's on, he's on the bottom, obviously. But, I, I would guess Charlie's about him. Yes, I would too. But I, I like <laughs> of the Charlie, alliance. He, he's I just, very I just want to clarify. He, <laughs> he's <Jesus>. very <laughs> weird. He, he's he's not a social guy. He's trying to take his swifty knowledge to be a social guy. Um, I don't really see him going super deep into the game. To be honest with you, I like I I'd imagine Charlie likes it super deep. 
<laughs> do you think he's? What do you think, Alex? You think you think he's going? I, I think I think currently he's in a good position. Yeah, I, I, I think I think Charlie likes lots, lots of positions. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure I don't want to offer. No, I, I I I like I like I like pairing. lots of positions. <laughs> I, I like yeah, the I pairing of him please. and Maria, uh, in the middle. I think yeah. ultimately, whenever this tribe does go to tribal, they are. They shouldn't side with the guys, but they will side with the guys and one of those girls. Just based on the edit, like we're yeah. hearing from four of the six people. Yeah. So we are and, not and, hearing and four, from the two girls. Yeah, four of the six are the guys and uh Maria. So yeah. but don't worry, Maria and and uh Maria and Charlie are the new Malcolm and Denise. And I was like, Oh my god, I love lunch lady Denise. <laughs> and i was like and charlie's like uh charlie uh or herschel or what one of one of corinne's friends <laughs> <laughs> not I, I charlie's not better than fat malcolm these days why do why does he uh, think he gets to compare himself to malcolm in his no, no contest to malcolm and i, I just will say because this. he's a young white guy he's like i'm, I'm malcolm the but, crazy thing yeah. is when I when I played Survivor Caramo and fans versus favorites, I was the season right after Philippines. So like yeah. when the helicopters come in, it's like, okay, we know who Philip Shepard and Cochran and Don is. But then like this guy Malcolm comes out and we're like, who the fuck is this? He yeah. must be pretty badass if they bring him back right away. Kind of, yeah. Didn't that happen? And if, you, and if he came out now, you're like, who's this fat guy? And they're like, yeah, oh, I, I haven't, just a I PA. Haven't seen he's them. running cable. Don't worry. <laughs> but it, it, it was like, wow, like Throwing it back to season 25 and to realize we're on season 46, it's uh kind of trips me out a little bit. Yeah. Was, I, was I don't want to uh, subject I like... myself. I would say I don't want to subject myself to this again, but if I have to put someone up for a tattoo bet, it's Charlie. He's not gonna win. Yeah. I'd stick a tattoo on it. There oh, yeah, neck, neck no tattoo? Way. Survivor expert in quotation marks, neck tattoo. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Some Taylor Swift lyrics. Yes. That's even worse. I'd like rather the, a, right along the rib cage. <laughs> Just get the word "expert" tattooed on your inside of your lower inside lip. Your, yeah, inside your lower it, it'll lip. it'll disappear anyways. I, like when I did my bike company called Failure Bikes, uh, one of my team riders in Vegas got the word "failure" tattooed on his <laughs> his lip. Yeah, uh, and, every, and 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 his girlfriend uh, reminded him every night at one a.m. She's like, "Hey, remember that? You're right." Yeah. <laughs> but I, I honestly like I'm I'm cool with um, kind of off the wall alliances. Yeah, right? I, I I like I like the tandem of Charlie and Maria. I, 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 I that, it, it's it's one of those fun deals where it's it's not what you. I mean, Australian Survivor Titans v Rebels right now, like the, the middle aged mafia, like that's right. not an alliance you would put together walking yes. into the show. So and then adding the you know the two V's is just like holy moly is it like are these guys just really smart? But you know so. Uh, yeah, Charlie's Angels, clever name. The alliance is it, there's there's no longevity there. <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's, I, I just don't see. Like I, it's, at this point in time, for two episodes, there's no reason for me to put stock in this group. That that yeah. that's ultimately my issue with them. It's they they're getting the least amount of screen time, which I like, which I mean, they just keep winning and they don't have any B roll on them of any substance. Yeah, but or, in a two-hour no throwaway now. episode, we still get nothing from them. Uh, we got 106 to 107. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, your favorite I mean... Part of the episode. So back at the orange I liked it. Matt, Matt, did you... So you, you you give a thumbs up on the on the Taylor Swift versus Metallica segment? Yeah, yeah I, it was entertaining for me. And I know yeah. Alex was saying, like, this would have been kind of like a secret scene It would have been a secret scene. It would have been a secret scene. But Dan, what were you at? Thumbs up, though? Or thumbs down? Leaning, I mean, I didn't love it. Well, slightly lean it, up. My 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 issue is that scene really made me realize how long this episode is. Why do you hate Taylor Swift, Alex? You know, not everyone has to be a Swifty. <laughs> All right. I'm not a Swifty. I'm, I'm not a Swifty either. Uh, but I have I'm, no I'm, problem. I'm, with I'm not Swift. No, I'm not anti like, Swifty. I, I I have gone to see Taylor Swift in concert. It's an amazing show. Love I'm it. sure you get, you get the wristband. They light up. They do cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I have no issue with Taylor. So it was just the 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 scene itself. Yeah. I was just like, I felt I was Tim and and Jem in that scene of like, okay, like it, it was pretty fun when they were like, okay, going back for it. And they were like, 
you got to like over 75 songs. I'm now I'm just like, okay. Well, it didn't I need to be longer than 30 seconds. Like also, no, also I, I do not count them saying all too well and all too well 10 minute version. It's the same song. Uh, like yeah, the longer. all too well 10 minute version. Like, stop it. Like, I, I, I'm not like, sorry, Charlie. And that's a phrase from the past. Sorry, it doesn't Charlie. really pertain to <laughs> gameplay. And I, I like, you know, fun stuff around camp life. But they do. There was stuff like that that happened constantly on Caramoan that they didn't show. Like we played bocce ball with coconuts and we climbed this crazy thing and went and did all this mm-hmm. stuff. And they didn't show any of it because it didn't well, have to do with gameplay. Well, what was, well, the, was the guy you didn't don't like? Climb. Shamar? Yeah. Why did you play bocce ball with Shamar's eye? That's yeah. the, and why did they not show that? I know. <laughs> well, they, I, I climbed a goddamn coconut tree, and they fucking had helicopters at the time. And Michael Snow's like, Matt, do you think you can get that? I'm like, I don't know. Let me see. I get halfway up the tree. I'm fucking terrified, scared of heights. I finally get to the top, and I'm I'm like, holy fuck, I'm, I'm up here in this tree. They're filming. None of it got aired. So they're like, this shit of this like, <laughs> five minute of like, Metallica one hundred and seven songs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it just like has no. It's got no like. Fuck yeah! Thank now, you. I was entertained, but I was like, eh, you know. I- Thank you, production. The fact that we got hundred and seven Taylor Swift song mentions and Matt Bischoff almost dies climbing a tree with helicopter footage, and we don't get it. Yeah, the survivor just, gods yeah. have answered every prayer that I've asked. Uh, thank, thank, thank you. But yeah, I, I, I think it's exacerbated just because I think the two other tribes have just been just far more interesting, at least even yeah. just from individual personalities. You're just like, yeah. okay, you, they have some wild childs on this like Nami tribe. Like, I love soda. So it's just so, like... soda's fun. Soda's fun. So, but I, I, but that, and that's my winner pick. But at the same time, like, I, I mean. T- Tiffany's there, brother. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I, Tiffany's I, there. <laughs> I, I, w- if we get, if I get Soda and Tiffany working together, I'm solid. Oh, dude, I, I love uh, Q and Tiffany right now. I, Q, I, yeah. Q will get to after, uh, and yeah. or I'll get to after immunity. I was a little impressed uh, because I, I think we all had a perception of what Q would be like heading into the season. Mm-hmm. I think I said good and, things. You did say good things. I, 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 I'm the only one that guessed correctly on Q, I believe. I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah. I wasn't sure about him because I was like, is he going to be someone that actually goes for the game or is he like Grave Digger James? Yeah. He's and not. he's not Grave Digger James. <laughs> he's <is> not. Yeah. <laughs> Gra- Grave Digger James will tell you that Q is not Grave Digger James. <laughs> Uh, well, so so we see back at the Orange Tribe, Nami. Venus is looking for an idol. Yes, she is. Hunter is looking for an idol. Uh, and Randon, uh, who I, I was like, who in the hell is Randon? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Someone I, filmed a PA again. <laughs> God, like, I was like, who is this? Was he even, like, anything in, in episode one? Uh, but he finds the beware advantage clue, which he has to dig. They find subbed out box. a player. Yeah, I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't think I. I'm more than positive. I'm not following on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, Randon is. I mean, were you guys kind of like, who is this guy? I, I I thought I thought they meant to write random at the bottom <laughs> in his lower third. No, it's like Ran- his his only thing of note was calling Venus Parvati in in the premiere, and that like that's all it was. Oh. And then you suddenly have him coming to this episode with no other context. And you're just like, Brandon, it's like, well, I'm obviously on the bottom, so I need to go and find something. I'm like, well, maybe that's obvious, but who's to say? We don't yeah, know right. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, uh, he does find the beware advantage. Yes. And uh, uh, we shall see what happens with that. Uh, next, we see Jess enjoys ants, and she wants to cook worms. And I'm um, just her. like, Jess, you have really found your way into integrating into this tribe <laughs> like before we got kind of, they, they kind of saw you as a as an outsider as a weirdo but nope just eat ants and talk about cooking worms and you're you're you're, well, you're as cool as a cucumber you know I, I i will give her the credit though of in her confessional being like you know what i truly do not care what these people think about me like I, I know, it, I know what I am. I'm awkward as shit. I'm like, you know what? You showed it. Good for you. Good for you. I don't cast Jess. Like I, I like a fish out of a fish out of water. Like mm-hmm. I, I like that archetype. 
I'm not casting Jess. No. Because I, I think this is as good as it gets, and this was not good. Right. Like, she seems like a very sweet person. Yeah, but just... This just was not on. the show. No. There's, there's a lot of very sweet people in this world. They don't, but she, yeah, they don't need don't, to be on TV. No, not at all. She there's there's nothing compelling about her. She says that she like you know, hey, I have a family and a husband and people that love me and stuff. He's from well, St. Louis. Can you believe it? I'm just like, just, no one believes anything about St. Louis, lady. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I just uh, I'm not, I'm not real down with Jess. Uh, what uh, Kenzie says that um, her and Q and Tiff are kind of in uh, Tiffany are in an alliance. Yeah, but she right. also wants to be friends with everybody. So you see this scene of her walking on the beach with Banu and <laughs> with Jess, with the two people that have zero idea how to play. And she goes, "Hey, here's a big move. Are you ready for this?" And they're like, "No." And she yeah. goes, "Well, don't go back and say it." Okay. And they go, <laughs> and "I'm just well, like, yeah. I, I feel like for Jess, it made sense to say it though, and like spill it and spill it to Q. I think that she picked the right person to say. Why it would to. Kenzie do but, this though? But what, what, what makes no sense is Kenzie saying this. Oh no, no, at that, all. no! Kenzie hmm. doing that was absolutely bad. And you, she should have ran back to Q and to be like, they just tried to pitch this yeah. shit to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, like, they're dead. It, because when you pitch something like that, just like to see what they would do. And yeah. Banu and Jess's reactions are blank stares. I think Banu yeah. farted. <laughs> Probably <Yeah>. did. <laughs> well, the Probably issue did. here, like with Jess here, is she she finally is like, oh, I can be strategic. But if you wait this long to be strategic, sure, Q somewhat buys it. But there's going to be skepticism. Is now you're doing this when you know that you're clearly at the bottom? There's skepticism. How accurate there's, is it? There's skepticism A. Or your tattletale B. I don't want to work with either one of those. No. no. Yeah. It's it, it's it and that's why I liked about Q in this episode was it's literally him just like let me like I have the idea of what I want but I want to weigh my options between this person who's a liability and this person who's a liability and a threat. What do I want to get rid of? It's like we there have been some duds on this fish out of water character that they keep trying to implement into survivor and going back pre new era right like think a little harder when you're filling that archetype role because yeah. i mean like i i'm thinking of, of just included three that should have never been on the show and did not help the show like as I said, I think that's a great archetype, that fish out of water, and when it works, it works. But when it doesn't. When it doesn't, I mean, as I said, I mean, we can go back a few seasons. It really went south, south here. So, guys, think about when you're casting this, because a fish out of water is someone that, like, they're uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't... I think you need, I think the fish out of water needs to have potentially thicker skin in this role. Yep. I agree. Because I think, who, who, are we I think, who are we count as a good fish out of water character in Survivor history? Sari. Sari. The one who got in, off in the a way she was powers. afraid of leaves. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Would you and, say, and, Alex? And, and, and potentially soda. Soda is a potential. Uh, I, in a way, Shane Powers, in the sense of like you're throwing them out because he like quit cold turkey, like yeah. smoking, and then you threw him on an island and, and starve yeah. and go insane. So, and mm -hmm. but but once again, all these people we're talking about that are great fish out of waters, thick skin. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. So, I mean, you know, I, I the four of us can have one conversation, one 10 minute conversation with Jess and know that. Yes, she fits the fish out of water archetype. No, she's probably not good for this. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and, as, and I'm sure she. I mean, like, I saw enough of her that I liked her as a as a person. Yeah. I, I could tell I liked her as a person. I mean, like the the fact that you know she she's you know making you know St. Louis jo like, like reference it, joke do whatever. I mean, like there's something likable there, but it's just like like she's not made for Survivor, and like literally says it. Facially, emotionally, physically, and on her exit. Right. Yeah, like you, you just could see that 
the instant hit and reality of the show did not mesh with her and no. her her body her mind was out like she and tried to brag about all she, these people that want to be on the show and they deserve the spot that person didn't so why did you give it to them well had everyone eaten the worm stew you know maybe things turn around for her. oh <laughs> so, my, my bad so mo moving on because we already did the next segment matt um yes did you guys know that Liz has so much money. So much money. I cannot fucking stand this person. <laughs> this is this is the new who is the chick uh first episode Russell I hate. Russell Hans. He <laughs> claimed to be a millionaire like when he was living in a trailer yeah. <laughs> and, and I, lost Samoa because of that. That that's that's one. Dude. <laughs> I was in a little tight too. Stand this person. <laughs> Uh, Sherry? Oh no, that I'm sorry. That was the big reveal. She, 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 she's just a mother. No, she owns a bunch of Jimmy John's. No, uh, 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 pretzel places at the mall. Mm -hmm. Like, well, like, and I just bet. her audacity right there to be like, oh, you know, it's just because some guys are intimidated by me, you know, because of how much money I make and everything like that. And she's like, no, I think part of it is because you kind of suck. Like that's why, guys. It I can't who, fucking stand her. The person who has to like drive home your successes isn't the, the per like you should be proud of the shit that you've done. Mm -hmm. Full heart. Like, cool. Talk about your confessional. And like there's a ways you she can does. talk about it without without she, she does talk yes. about professional. Yes, she does. <laughs> um yeah, I missed that billboard. Um she, she also talks about it to you in camp. <laughs> yeah, but like there's a way of talking about it. And the way that she talks about it, just like it would rub me such the wrong way. Like, like I would probably have a similar thing as Randon, where Randon's just like, it feels like I'm talking to a billboard. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, I want to have a conversation. Then she just has to talk about, well, come and look at this business that I sold that does this, this, and this, and made me loads of money. I'm like, okay, well, one, you already disqualify yourself from winning the game because a lot of people weigh their mind on what does the money mean to you. I love the fact that she wants the title. You know who else said that? She was the one in preseason who said she wanted to play like Russell Hans and Sandra. Her comments sound a lot more like Russell Hans. Yeah, I just uh, want the title. Liz is nuts. She's crazy. She's cocky. I can't stand her. I I I, I would like to play the opposite uh, opposite on this. Mm -hmm. Do it, Tina, if you're watching and or listening. Uh. You know, I'll I'll just message you my PayPal. Um, I need a loan. Um, Tina Wesson? No, Liz. Liz, Liz oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Liz, Liz, Liz. But also <laughs> Tina, if you're listening. <laughs> Either Tina, Tina Wesson or Liz, whatever your name is. I'm a big fan, a huge fan. <laughs> Tina slash Liz. Uh, I would I would like to borrow money. Could well, we no, I don't. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't want to borrow it. I, I would like money. Charitable Without the intention donation. of ever paying back. Charitable donation. Yeah, I yeah. would like a charitable donation. And I would like to say good things about you for the rest of the episodes that I'm on this season. And then <laughs> may maybe, you know, along with that, you cut a, a, you know, a couple billboards showing the Survivor Watch parties. Oh! Be happening in those local cities. I would know. I'd rather yeah. just have the money. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Liz slash Tina... Your number one fan. <laughs> so uh, you guys are this... playing this completely wrong. You're 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 playing like uh, Johnny. There's a like reason. Chess. There's a reason why you are where you are, and I am where I am. All right. Well, I, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm you know you're be... successful, and I'm here. You're you're in. <laughs> you know, I'm saying you know there would be conditions right. on it too. Being like, yeah, no, I'll give you the money installments, but like once a day, we're gonna have a three hour conversation. That's fine. About how That's I talk, fine. how successful I am. I don't I'm care. I, I don't want the donation. Uh, that would be like. A... Well, if I gave Liz her a title, if if you're, you're hiring a survivor. Yeah. So no. Yeah, oh, I, I just going to be like Russell Hansett, try to buy the title of Soul Survivor. I'm for it. Oh, I have it right now. She can pay me. I can give it to her. She's the million dollar man to DiBiase. She's going to make the million dollar belt at the, at the <laughs> <laughs> so, Andre the Giant. We, we talked about that on the Eden podcast last night. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, don't worry. Randon has finally figured out that Venus is hot. And uh, so he tells her about the advantage. <laughs> 
<laughs> but he that's tells her, exactly he tells her at night when he can't even see all of her. I know. That's why I was like, he's, I don't know what is going on, but that the 100%, the only reason that he's saying anything with her is because he thinks she's hot. That's, yeah. that's it, period. He finally figured out math. You know, usually he's competing with, with her against, you know, thousands of other guys. Right now, one of three, like those chances. But what? No, and think- the other two hate her. It's one of one. Do we the do map, we think this is potentially a Dom in the Challenge USA situation? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we know all those Love Island girls. And now that I'm I'm caught, uh, well, I'm I'm on I'm about to finish season four of Love Island. I do know all the Love Island girls. Uh, Dom, they were not looking at you. I didn't think that watching Challenge USA, but after watching Challenge USA. Uh, the meat trays that they are used to in their lives, you and your farty underwear and stinky socks, you are not getting any of the <laughs> holy mother. You know, I really I want to go back and watch Challenge USA or Challenge USA again because, like, just just for, for Dom to, to explain to us, I hope my wife isn't your wife's not worried about nothing, dude. <laughs> like I, you're good. Dom forgot his glasses because like the these are all tens, and Dom is a jersey three. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Matt, uh, that gets us to the challenge. <laughs> yeah, immunity immunity challenge time. Big reactions about Jelinski being voted out. Yeah. Uh, and then right before kind of they like they're showing the three tribes. Soda calls out Q. I love I love this oh, feistiness love in in soda. That's like talking some shit. Yeah, finally some like kind of like drama give us that mad chat talking shit. Yeah, yeah. we oh. like that. We we like when you know just like you know so and so voted out. What do you guys think? Like this this is a lot. This is very Australian Survivor, folks. Mm-hmm. And that was Jersey energy from Soda. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Q, Q makes. Q makes one comment. So it's like, okay, well, if you want to go, we can go right now. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. yeah, yeah. I love that. It. <laughs> and, and Jeff, Jeff apparently is always packing heat. Who knew? And then well, go uh, on Google. He had a blade on him. Oh, he did. He did have a blade. Yeah, on he, him, got, so he, he got, got, got the headband. He got. And he got if you the... want to see his blade, uh, be careful with your Google search. Yes, if you'd like to see Jeff Probst's <laughs> blade, uh, <laughs> Google. <laughs> But Banu starts talking about uh, Gandhi and strength and uh, all kinds of stuff. Good, good. Uh, <laughs> Congrats. And, and then uh, I, I literally thought I sat on the remote and turned the channel. Yeah, this channel. I was, I was cleaning my fish tank at this point, and I'm just like, "What? I'm trying to why, why Who turned to an infomercial? What? The- <laughs> yeah." And then this challenge. I mean, it's something that I just put race to release a machete. Some wheels on a car, right? Uh, no, course. that was not. No, none of that's true. It was Nani, Nani, oh Nani, Nani, <laughs> Nani, Nani, Nani. That's, my, that's my good friend Tina slash Liz. <laughs> Liz is the you worst. You can have her all sleep in a box. It's fucking terrible. I was so annoyed by that. I'm all about cheering on your team to a degree, but what an annoying I, honestly, human being that person is. Yeah, uh, uh, honestly, I'm surprised that one Jeff didn't tell her to shut up. I was. I, I and two, I'm su- I'm surprised her own tribe didn't tell her to shut uh, up. I was like, right up. in front of them as they're trying yes. to put the puzzle. I'm like, hey, we need to focus right now. Yeah, I, I mean, they should what just... you're doing, but actually, I don't. Just they should have skipped the first part of the challenge and just been like, "Here's your puzzle pieces. Make the word persistent." Really, yeah. Because the, the it was boring. I was like, "What?" And then uh, commercial break during this challenge. So I so will say that this was this looked very difficult to do. So we had was this in Australian? Survivor? This was in Blood versus yeah. Water, where they had to spell blood and yeah. water. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it was good in that episode too like it, it was, was a similar thing where they were getting very close and it was consistently well, they, falling. You know, they would get it but uh when the letters would be because it's it's a different color on each side yeah mm-hmm. and so they would get they're like we got it they're like no you don't <laughs> yeah i'm so all about pesteristin still 
I like the drama of the challenge. <laughs> I just didn't need it to be. I didn't need it to be that long, right? The like dropping and all that stuff. Just give me the puzzle and show people dropping and show that drama, but don't make this like a twenty-minute uh, piece of the episode. The persistence of them thinking we needed a two-hour episode tonight is uh, it's, oh it's god, quite enduring, terrible. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, I, I saw so many people putting up the picture of them trying to put persistence of like me after watching the first hour. <laughs> dude, dude, that's so funny. But it was way it was this is not the challenge they needed for for the, the two hour episode well, two. So like so like good on good on them for taking something from AU that I personally liked. I like that it. type of puzzle. I do too. I, I, I like anything new. I I, I yeah. I, I thought a 500 pound stuffed gecko was a little stupid, but it's different. Don't care. I'll take yeah. different. And I like stealing from from australian survivor doing the, doing the arc yeah. puzzle I too. yeah and i, I but, but but i i did i for the record i 3d printed that uh a oh, few months no. ago when i saw it on australian uh, survivor so i'm i'm prepared was, was the weight the same though um mm. pretty close mm. uh i did mine in metric because it's australia but i i felt like the conversion is pretty pretty close <laughs> and, and, and that and that's what Matt would call a a, a nerdicon. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking nerdicon. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> no, but so my my issue with the reason why ya, the Yanu loses this is ultimately they kept putting the short person in charge of putting the stuff at the very top. Yes, <laughs> you put yeah. the short people on the end, not yeah. having to hold that much. You then yeah. you put this you little your, bit taller, your head and back, and then your arms yeah. on piece three. Don't tell Bonnie that though. Bonnie doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't he'll, like using his arms. Let, well, he'll my, also my, let everyone know. <laughs> say my it's favorite just... part of this is Bonnie losing his mind all while he's wearing a be kind t-shirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Once again, I class I, I cast Bonu every season. Oh, oh yeah. it's it's he's such great. a good character. Oh yeah. I mean bad player. Good character. D- possibly the worst in the new era. I don't Let me ask you guys there. this about this puzzle. Could because it took him so long to do the arch puzzle. Yeah. Couldn't you have laid? I know it's two sided. Couldn't you lay it on the ground first and just get it all together? And then I think the issue was the ground, when when you were dropping it, it and they were still trying to keep things up. Yeah. Then yeah. they weren't knocking it all down and restarting because they yeah. they all did that originally. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's how they started. No, they, they they didn't figure it out as they were putting pieces up. Well, I mean, yeah. well, pro- probably so it, the purple yeah. tribe did, but, but like the art, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the purple tribe started with 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 an E or yeah. <laughs> they're like they saw penis. Got and it. Like that's it. Penis. 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 And all the other letters that didn't all need to be. Used. <laughs> but, but purple loses once again. Tiffany is pissed. Banu is pissed. Kenzie wants Jess to go, and then we go after this challenge because this is like still like an hour left in the episode when this is happening. Yeah. I'm like, what is going to? And go they didn't on show the, the green tribe ever again. Yes, yeah, yeah. so but they go back to the orange tribe, the Nami tribe. They go back to camp. Venus talks about her crushed toe. Uh, oh, you think, uh, you think random? Her. You think random kissed it? I think yeah, he probably, wanted to. He probably yeah, did. Can we call him? Can't random? let the wife see it though. Yeah. Oh, is he married? Uh, I don't know. I'm uh, just going with the bit. Okay. Can we can we call him random for the sure, rest call of the him, season? Call him random. random. Yeah. And then I mean, have... t-shirt into making. Oh, <laughs> just a picture of him. It says. It's just the silhouette. <laughs> okay. Is this random? With a question mark. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't think that'll be a good seller. I. I, I think our money is in the. Uh, uh, it, it, it's in the block. Stop, don't stop making it. the block yeah. hot. Stop making the block hot. There's the money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Venus and Soda are talking. Soda is tired of right. Venus playing. The, money, the, the money's card. actually with Liz. All right. Well, here, here, here's the money question. All right, Matt, you're a married guy. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm soon to be. Mm-hmm. Alex and Dan. Venus's toe gets crushed. <laughs> Would you kiss it? <laughs> Why not? What? Not you. T- you're married. You're. you're not- <laughs> Jeez, you idiot. I'm. I'm. I'm telling you. I, I was already going to send her a pic later tonight. No, I'm going to go ahead and message her now. So, uh, Alex, you 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 kiss Venus's toe. You got to take care of it. Got to right. help the team. You know. All right, Dan, you kiss it. That's a hard yes. 
uh, uh, wow uh do you suck it no no i can't do Dan, that, that pause was the answer what, 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 no, what about no, what about what about venus's toe <laughs> <laughs> be here all week folks uh, Alex, do, you, do you suck venus's toe why not all right there you go alex a toe sucker gotta do the work gotta do the work <laughs> But like I said, back to the plan. Learn something new every every episode, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Tiffany is crying and pissed, not necessarily because they lost, but because she was kind of like upset of how she would be portrayed of losing her cool as like an angry black woman. She did not want to be kind of, you know, looked upon as that. And so I, I don't, I. I would really look at Tiffany as one of my favorite players this season. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I guess I would have been an angry white man because I would have been just as pissed as her if I'm more. I would have so. been. I would have been I, too. It, it, and like I, it made me. It, it resonated though because like you, I feel like a lot of us can't understand what how she's viewing that, and she was specifically said not about her own tribe, but like these people only get to see me when we're here at a challenge, and that's their that's their opinion of me potentially yeah. because but, but i freaked like, out this one but it's like no you guys lose every time we're gonna see everything about you it's fine yeah <laughs> soda probably said that <laughs> yeah you're 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 not on the orange tribe there <laughs> you have plenty of time to explain yourself don't worry about it girl you're good yeah. <laughs> it was a good moment it reminded me of like from the challenge leroy just being like always trying to keep his cool being like i don't want to come on tv to be the angry black man and so mm-hmm. i thought it was a good moment you see where she's coming from and just not wanting that perception to be out there. She wants to yeah. be more than that. That's not who she is. Well, and, and and love Leroy. You know I'm a big Leroy fan. Unlike Leroy, she's actually very good at the game. Oh! <laughs> don't, don't tell Leroy. <laughs> Never <laughs> tell Leroy. I love that man. Hey, he might win All-Stars 4. Who knows? 440. And it has an air date now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have an air date. So. So, and so- he has a second kid. Congrats on the kid. And we're yeah. watching the valley. Oh, never. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I, want, I want to include Matt. <laughs> so, so Tiffany and Kenzie are talking because yeah. Kenzie has this bright idea, which I actually like this part of the episode where they have this fake idol that they make and they're trying to like plant it to where Jess would find it. But Jess is well, so well, they, they make dumb. the idol, it, but it's, it's a little more involved. They, they use, uh, 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 Jelinski apparently left his canteen because he didn't know he was going anywhere. But don't worry, Banu's got all his shit. You get one vote, he's fucking packed up, ready to go. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Banu's like, oh, my dream like, is ruined. <laughs> Banu has erased DNA evidence that he was ever on the island. I know, <laughs> like this is crazy. Was like, that was wow. wild. So, that but was. They, they use the beads from 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 uh, Jelinski's uh, uh, water bag or whatever or, or bag or cooler or whatever and uh but they have the notes from tiffany's ad- advantage in real idol mm-hmm. so yeah. which which is which, which is huge and so yeah they, they do place it and they and uh this is mission impossible uh for for jess and and god bless her so uh q goes let me just give it to her yeah. <laughs> but i love q being the one to be proactive enough to be like let me be the one Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then he gets control of the fate. Because yes. at first I'm like, oh, if this is just a Jess boot, if he didn't want Jess to go, that that was where I was like, I was t- I was messing with Dan all episode, being like, oh, looks like it's gonna be a Kenzie boot tonight. It's oh yeah, be a Kenzie one. And then, but when he kept not telling her that the idol is fake, I was like, oh, she's she's gone, she's mm-hmm. gone. But like he had the control now of being like. I can tell her it's fake and me, her and Banu all vote Kenzie and get Kenzie out. Or I yeah, told it, her and I prove to the girls, like, I'm working for you. This is this was Q's week. Q yeah. stock. It, it, it may be fine. no higher in this game than it is right now. Yeah. Oh, I love Q right now. Yeah. I love him. So, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, well, uh, it's either Jess or Kenzie, according to Q, so it's time for Tribal. And Banu believes Tribal Council is the time that you can be honest. And I love that Banu believes that. And Jeff uh, loves that. Does he? I think Jeff <laughs> loves that Banu is willing to say anything and everything. 
I feel Jeff like loves Jeff, it for four episodes. I, I don't know about past there, but I, I feel like Jeff typically loves people to be honest because I was I was personally yelled at <laughs> for just uh, not answering. <laughs> yes, so I, I I I do know how he feels. I feel Jeff may have got his limit with Banu being honest. So, but don't worry, Banu is training himself to shut up and lie. So in the future, maybe not next week. Maybe not by merge, hopefully by merge, but second chances. He will he will have this down. <laughs> I, I just I mostly, just love that mostly. I just love that his way of trying to prove to them that he wasn't doing that because he's like, you just showed that Jess is on the outs and you're in an alliance with the rest of us. He's like, no, no, no. You you see, I did that because I believe in my relationship with Jess. <laughs> Yeah, dude. But, <laughs> and, but, and, then, and then Q just be like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. shut the fuck up. It's time to vote. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We do get it's time to vote. And then we get from Banu, who are you voting for? And who do you want. And, 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 and Kenzie, whoever you want, is like, oh, sweet, sweet Banu. Like, I, like, I literally was waiting for, for Kenzie to pet him. <laughs> <laughs> Like it was just so funny because I'm I'm just like you're in this position where you have Jess like openly saying stuff, you have Banu saying stuff that makes Kenzie know that oh y'all talked because I made mm -hmm. this comment. You want me to give you another thing? Yeah. Kindly, kindly just walk over there and vote. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, he, yeah. He's he's not gonna last. But I mean, Tiffany, straight mob yeah, boss. Stop so, making the block stop hot. I'm just like line of the, the season. Hot. And I just wrote. I love Tiffany, and then and then and then he go, then he goes to Ke like as if it hasn't gone bad enough. <laughs> then he goes to Q, and he's just like, "Dude, just stick with the plan." And I love that the plan is Jess, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, like that's the plan. He goes to the three people that he's aligned with to get rid of Jess. Does not go to Jess to ask her. <laughs> I know. And I mean, I, I don't think played. in the history of Survivor we've ever seen anything sloppier. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, here's how terrible. sloppy it was. I, I'm so sure Jess went into that tribal tonight ready to vote for Kenzie. Yeah. Banu played it so poorly, she voted for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who, according to Banu, they have a relationship. Yeah, yeah crazy. She, she won't betray me. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> But yeah. would you guys say that, that Survivor 46 is entertaining thus far? Yeah, I I I I, I literally wrote. Uh, oh, so uh, so uh, afterwards, uh, uh, it was time to read the vote. Well, first it's time to play the idol, and she she plays the imaginary uh, the, the the fake idol, and he's mm -hmm. like, "This is in fact not an idol." And she slaps Q on the knee. You mm -hmm. playful silly goose. And then, and then the first vote is Banu, and he just grabs his shit. He's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and I'm just like Banu. And yeah. then he says, "I feel like a fool when they I feel like a fool." Red. And I just write, "This is not Nasir. <laughs> yeah, this is not Nasir. This is not Nasir." Uh, but no, this this is the like bone. It what's that? It's giving me a little bit of Gabon energy. Gabon? Oh, I, I, you know what? I love Gabon. I like mm -hmm. a character season. Yeah. Yes. Think about it. Like, we did not have the greatest players in Gabon. Mm -hmm. No. But it's entertaining. But did we have some I mean, entertaining Marcus... people? Did we have people that well, were like I, biting? Mark, Marcus like... was there, but we're talking about the entertaining players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we had Sugar we had, and Randy like, and Crystal and hey, Kenny. And Marin. Sugar was the one that was the mastermind of the season, pretty much. Yeah, the only That's like she got sent to the sugar shock, sugar shack nonstop. The only person that re remotely tolerated her was Ace. In the first opportunity she had to vote, she voted out Ace. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Icon. <laughs> right, sugar will be at a, at Jax's studio March twenty seventh. Come see Sugar. Ask her about her gameplay. She loves to discuss it. <laughs> We are yeah. overall uh, Bonu is kind of Bonu is doomed. Yeah. Um, I think Kenzie is kind of doomed. You have to believe so. Yeah, you, you can't think Kenzie's, Kenzie's fine. Well, Kenzie's fine. 
Yeah, yeah I think fine. she's fine. But you got t- I- Tiffany's calling the show. As great as Q, Q stocks is, is, is the highest of anyone on Survivor Season 46 right now, week two. Mm-hmm. Uh, week three and beyond, if I'm placing bets, I got money on Tiffany and uh, Kinsey is her number one. I love yeah. Tiffany. She's so, like probably so my favorite. I think Kenzie's a okay. Yeah, because I like looking at her like. tattoos. Oh, I, I think Kenzie. As long as they can survive, the three of them to a swap. Yeah, they they, they go which far. I I believe there is a swap in this season. Um, uh, then I think Kenzie can get there. Well, there's. I mean, where does Kenzie live in Charlotte? I mean, there's no way Kenzie will be uh, at. Protagonist beer in Charlotte, North Carolina, on Wednesday, May first. She's not allowed to be. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, SurvivorTix.com. That's SurvivorTix.com. Johnny Fairplay, King George. You never know who else is going to be there. Uh, I, ah. I, don't, I don't even know why I mentioned that at, at, at this moment. Ah, there it's you weird. go. <laughs> but yes, super fun, Johnny. Thanks for for being here tonight. Oh, uh, super. And and you're going to be here more often. But about half the season, Johnny will be with us. And when Johnny's not here, it will be Alex, Dan, and myself. And uh, we will be here next Wednesday for Survivor 46, episode three. Hey, and, when, uh, when when I'm not here, mm-hmm. I'll be joined by Trishel and Wayne Monchel. Or wait, 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 Sorry. Oh, okay. When Wayne you're, Mon- you're, you're, you're going to do a, a Dan, another Survivor podcast. You and your boyfriend eloped. <laughs> Did you guys? You're, you're, you're better half. Side piece, your, your side side piece, piece to piece. the real thing. Your side oh, piece is a whole sorry. piece. Sorry. Sorry. I, I, uh, Wayne Memmott. Wayne, Wayne up Memmott up and Trishel uh, will be joining me for the recaps when, when I'm not here. That's okay. all. How cool there is that? Is. That's super cool. Trishel's all in. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm uh, getting I'm getting some feedback. Uh, I I might have a special guest next week to cool. join us. Ooh. All for for next. Are you going to be here next Wednesday night? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, they just got a clear with CBS. Okay. So very well, very go. special guest, possibly legendary guest. Well, stay tuned, everyone. All right. And uh, I'm going to be. There's several. Over. There's several options. I'm sure. But I would just choose one. <laughs> fuck <All right>. yes <laughs> all right. well we will see you all next week for episode three cheers everyone have a great week we love you all and uh good night boom